get to know in depth the Sabejo home market. In this video, we dive into the exclusive insights of total listings, market values, financial options, average home prices, and so much more information that you generally cannot find anywhere else. This is the home market report for what goes of 2023 and the first quarter, January, February, March, and April of 2024. So let's look at the total number of homes that have been listed since January of 2023 up to April of 2024. We have a total number of 75 listings, of which 53 were only of 2023 and 22 of 2024. Now, of these 75 listings, 28 were beachfront, 9 were canal, 7 were lagoon front, and 31 were off-water listings. By off-water, I mean listings of homes that didn't have access to any beachfront or lagoon or canal. So let's set the standard. In 2023, we only had 20 beachfront homes. We only had 10 canal and lagoon front homes, and we had 23 off-water homes. So we had eight more beachfront homes coming to the market in 2024. We had six more canal and lagoon front homes coming to the market, and we have eight more off-water homes coming to the market. That means that the beachfront availability from the ending of 2023 grew by 40%. Off-water availability grew by 34% and Canal a Lagoon Front saw the biggest jump of 60% of more listings in the market from the ending of 2023. So of these total 75 homes, how many have sold, how many are still available, or how many have been taken off the market? Put simply this way, Almost 41% of homes have sold, which is 27. 42 homes are still available, which equals about 52% of the market. And 6 homes, which is 7.5% of the market, have been taken off the market. That means they haven't either sold nor relisted. In this next slider, you are seeing the homes listed, sold, and available by price points starting from 100000 going up by 100000 all the way to a million, and then for $1 million homes and $2 million homes. So if we're looking at $100,000 home ranges, we had two listed and two of them have sold. If we're looking at homes of 200000 range, we had 10 listed and eight of those have sold. If we're looking at $300,000 homes, we had 12 listed and seven of them have sold. If we're looking at $400,000 homes, that means only three have been listed and none have sold so far from that price range. And it's important to note that as you see the chart, the lowest priced homes have had a decent amount of listings, but they've also had the highest sold rate when we start at the 400,000 the amount of home listed compared to the amounts of homes sold reduces significantly in the $400,000 range three had listed but none have sold in the $500,000 range three listed only one has sold in the $600,000 range five have listed and only one has sold and in the $700,000 range we had nine listed one sold and eight still available. In the $800,000 range, we had four listed, two have sold and two are still available. And in the $900,000 range, we had four listed, one sold and three still available. And in the million dollar range, we had 14 listed. We only have four sold. That means we have still 10 available. And in the $2 million range, two have listed, and none have sold. Now, if we're looking at the homes sold and available of 2023 and 2024 combined, by category, meaning beachfront, canal, lagoon front, or off water, we had 28 beachfront homes listed. Two of them were taken off the market. Seven of them were sold. That means 19 are still available, and only 32% of beachfront homes have sold. Canal homes, 78% of them have sold. Lagoon front homes, 57% of them have sold. 
of water homes, 42% only of them have sold, giving us the total sold percentage of from the homes listed of being 44%. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, what about financing for homes? Well, the reality is that the Belize home market does not have the flexible long-term mortgage market like back in the U.S. For that reason, out of the 42 homes that are still available, only 7% of them are offering financing, which means three of them are offering financing and 39 of them are asking for a cash offer. Now, it is important to note that in 2023, six homes were offering seller financing. And as of the making of this video, those six homes have sold. For that reason, it is important that if you're wanting to sell your home in the island, offering seller financing may be your way of standing out in the market. Now, how about price reductions of homes? Of the total 75 that have been listed in 2023 and 2024, 24 of them have been reduced. That means 32% of the market saw one or two reductions throughout their time being listed. I do note a lot of homeowners came into the market expecting much more, which the market has made those corrections. But do not get too confused. Remember, 75 homes are the total number of homes listed. 42 homes are the total number that are currently still available. That is a big difference because sometimes for some data, we use the 75 homes and for some, we use the 42 homes depending on what we're trying to show you. If you're looking into the market right now and you're wondering what are the type of homes that are available right now, of the 42 of them, 19 are beachfront, only two are canal front, Three are lagoon front and 18 are off the water. Now, if you're looking for the type of home, meaning is it a single family home, a villa, a multifamily home, a duplex or a triplex, of the 42 that are currently available, we have 22 single family homes. By single family homes, I mean homes that are only one structure. Seven of them are villas. By villas, I simply mean standalone homes that are in a HOA complex. Six of them are multifamily homes, which means they have four or more standalone structures that could be considered smaller apartments or full-on homes. Five of them are duplexes and two of them are triplexes. Now, let's say you're asking me, what about specifically the beachfront homes? Now, there are only 19 beachfront homes available in the market right now, and 10 of them are single-family homes, 5 of them are villas, 2 of them are multiple-family homes, and 2 of them are duplexes. How about canal or lagoon-front homes? Of the 5 currently available, 2 of them are villas, 1 of them is single-family home, 1 of them is a multi-family home, and only 1 of them is a duplex. Another great suggestion that I got from a past viewer on my previous home market update was they wanted to see the pricing of homes by square footage. Well, I did have to make an adjustment as not every home listing makes their square footage public. But of the 42 homes that are available, I can tell you that three of them are one bedroom homes, eight of them are two bedroom homes, 15 of them are three bedroom homes and 16 of them are four bedrooms or more. So let's talk about the home prices currently in the market. In this next slide, I will be showing you the minimum, the average and the maximum price point for off water, canal or lagoon front homes and beachfront homes. This include the homes that have sold and the homes that are available. So remember we said the total number of homes was 75 of them, which had a total market value of 55.6 million. Now for the minimum price of a off water home, it was 133,000. The average price for an off water home was 473,000 and the maximum price of an off water home was right 
at 1.1 million. For Lagoon and Canal Front Homes, it is 135,000. The average price is 443,000 and the maximum price was 859,000. Now for beachfront homes, the minimum price was 565,000. The average price was 1.2 million and the maximum price was 2.3 million. Now it is important that you remember that these home prices are for general homes that have sold and are available of the market. I have made a more in-depth breakdown for only the homes that are available. And apart from being only from the homes that are available so you can truly know what is currently in the market, I've also broken down that information and given you the numbers of 2023. I've also, from each category, meaning off water, lagoon front, or beach front, there is a big difference when it comes to homes that are fully concrete built, wooden built, or homes that are a mix of wood and concrete built. So if you want that more in-depth breakdown, there will be a link labeled Q1 Homes 2024 below. So you can request that PDF presentation. We'll also have all the slides I've just shown you in there as well. So what are my main takeaways of this home market update? The first one that I can note is the home market is significantly a lot more slower than the condo market. There's a lot more availability in the homes that are available, yet prices for the lower end homes are almost non-existent as you had seen from the breakdown on the price ranges. Secondly, is that the home market has made some major adjustments to many of the sellers, 24 actually, that brought their homes at a specific price point and the market made those corrections. Many of those listings that only reduced once or even twice and the reduction was not in 10,000 or 20,000. It was in up to anywhere from 50,000 to a hundred plus thousand dollars in price reductions. So is it not a good time to buy? The reality also is that I do realize that the homes that are in great price points compared to the value that they actually bring is that those homes go off the market very quickly. Another thing that I've noticed is that the availability of nice homes that are priced accurately in the market is very lacking. So is it a good time to buy? The reality is, and this may sound like a bitch, but it's always a good time to buy if it fits your current needs. You have to realize that a home is not like owning a condo. Most condos, you can own them outright, you can have them in the rental pool, and they have very minimal things that you as an owner need to be involved on. A home is not like that. If the home that you buy doesn't have a BTB license, you just can't flip a switch and it will start renting. There is a process that you need to go to have your home BTB approved, a time period that you will not be generating any income, and a time period after you have received your BTB license until your home starts generating rental revenue from the bookings that you've gathered. I'll give you a clear example of this. My first home buyer, I have managed to spend some significant time with them, ask them very important questions of where they were at the beginning of when they bought the home all up to now until when they are now at a point where their home is generating significant revenue for them. But that time frame from when they were able to buy to getting the license done to now being at a place that is actually renting has taken them about two and a half years to turn around. Now, if you're looking for a home that is just for you to live on or for you to have, and you don't necessarily care about having the rental revenue, the 
main point will be to find you the home that fits your needs the best. That leads me to another question. Are there proper to management companies in the island that take away all that hassle from you? Yes, there absolutely are great options in the market. But then again, bear in mind, you will have to find the best management that works for you and that will take care of it, of your home. But the involvement that you will have to have is still very much significant because it is a standalone property that at the end of the day is yours. So remember, if you'd like to have all these slides that I just showed you in PDF form and the more in-depth price breakdown that, trust me, is worth you requesting, reach out. My link will be in the descriptions below. Remember, it will be labeled Q1 Homes 2024. If you're one of my followers and have realized that I'm no longer making those monthly update videos, yes, that is right. I'm no longer making them and I will no longer be making them. If you want to have the overview of everything that comes into the market in a monthly basis, you will have to subscribe to my mailers, which the link would be in the descriptions below, labeled as subscribe here. After you've clicked the link, all you have to do is click the type of property that you are interested to know about and we will keep you posted on them. Remember to like this video if you thought it brought value. Share it with someone else who may be thinking of also buying or selling in Belize. Your referral means everything to me. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.